Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I like to pre-wash my fabric, even my small pre-cuts and my fat quarters. I have this beautiful bundle from Timeless Treasures and it has a lot of dark reds and greens and well, I do not want to take a chance of it bleeding into my fabric. So I have a very simple way on how you can wash your fat quarters and your pre-cuts and a way for you to dry it without wringing it out. It's not so much the washing that distorts it, it's the wringing that you need to do to take the water out. So here's a very simple way to keep your fabric still nice so you can use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my colors from the lightest to the darkest. And I wash the lightest one first, going right to the very darkest one. And that way I can use the same sink of water. So I'll fill up a sink of water, one that is big enough that I am able to wash the fabric fairly flat. And I'll open up the fabric and I'll lay it in the sink. And in order for me to wash it, I do this method here, like I'm rubbing my hands over top of it. And that way I'm kind of getting all of the soap and the water in. But I'm not wrinkling it all up. Then I will take it, fold it out, and put it aside. And I'll do this for all of the fabric right until the very last color. If it's the pre-cuts, I do the same thing. So I'm going to start with the lightest one and I'm going to wash all the way until I get to the darkest color. Empty out the soap and I'll put some clear water in and I do the same thing. I'll put the fabric in again. I'll lay it as flat as I can and I will just run my hands over top of it this way. Again, starting with the lightest, going to the darkest. Now we have the problem of getting the water out. So let's start with the small pre-cuts. Well, that is definitely very wet. And if I wring it out, then it has a chance to distort it and all the ends will get frayed. How can I get the water out of this without hanging it and let it drip dry for a long time? Well, it's something that is in your kitchen. It is a lettuce spinner. So you can take your fabric, even though it's very wet, place it around the side of the container. And just as you're going to spin your lettuce, you put your lid on and you give it a spin. And you can see all the water is being forced out, no different than your wash machine, because it spins the water out. So now the fabric is not dripping wet and it's quite dry already. So you could just lay it out and let it dry. It has not been distorted and it has not been frayed. And you can see how much water I have gotten out of just this little bit of fabric. So for the larger pieces of fabric, like your fat quarters, you can just put them in because they're not so small that they're going to get distorted. Without wringing them out, just put them in. And you can get quite a few in here. And put your lid on, give her a spin. Now if you get too much water in the bottom, you will have to drain the water because the fabric will just absorb the water if it's too much. And if it's still a little bit too wet, give it another spin. So here's the fabric coming out and you see there's barely any water in it at all. So now, you can take this fabric and hang it on the line to let it finish drying or just lay it out to dry. It won't take long and you're going to be able to iron that still just slightly damp and it'll look just like new. So they're all dried and pressed and you can see that there's very, very little fraying going on and very little distorting even with all the little pre-cuts. Wash, dried and pressed and it still looks just like new. So this is sort of like a little wash machine for your sewing room. Give it a try when you want to wash some of those small pieces that, well, you don't want to throw in the wash machine. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room.
Bye for now.